on the geometry channel, there's the cutout opacity here. Cutout opacity is how transparent your object is. So if I turn this down, you can see when it's zero, uh, that surface isn't being displayed at all. But if I go and bring that in, one is like 100% opaque, 50% is, you know, 50% visible. It's often this is used in conjunction with maps. So this can take a texture here. Everything that has a little uh, drop down triangle can take a texture. And on that you can define this is visible, this is half visible, and this is not visible on the object. So things like a half see through part of a garment, that would be a good idea for an opacity map in this point if it doesn't have a separate material that you make procedurally. If you have it defined as a texture, that is where you would do that. This is also comes in handy when you make billboards. This is kind of cool. You have a rendered version of the 2D object or of the, of the 2D person that you want to see and the outside of it is essentially uh, black. And black tells the cutout opacity map, uh, don't display that, make it essentially invisible and white tells it to show whatever is white. The gray is kind of in the middle somewhere. Do you know exactly for, for uh, lace and stuff like that? It's perfect. Sometimes even something that's just a little bit transparent and um, your yeah, filament doesn't really like it that much. Filament has, I mean, it, it kind of displays it, but yeah, it's, uh, let's do, let's use a different material. Let's use the top one here, the top ring and mess with that. Uh, maybe the, the top middle, yeah, there we go. That's, that's got that. So this ring here, it's sometimes nice when you just have something that is, you know, just a little bit see-through. It goes a long way to create a really nice uh, sheen effect, like 0.9 or something. Also, this cutout opacity channel, I'm sure you've seen this before on certain hair products. Often you get these really weird little splodges on the outside of hair, like these, these really grainy bits and pieces. If you turn the cutout opacity of every object to 0.999, then those splodges will go away. 